basic lathe setup for threading. First, the tool, which is right here, has been ground to a 60 degree point. This is a truncated thread, so I've dulled the tip of it. I'm putting the thread gauge on the tip of the tool and the tool is confirmed to be parallel with the workpiece, or I should say orthogonal to the workpiece. I'm removing the thread gauge. I'm making sure that the, the thread or the uh, tool is on the center. It is locked in place and all of the bolts holding it to the tool holder are secure. The workpiece has been scored at the end of the thread run and I filled it in with some black magic marker so I know when to pull my half nuts out. The tailstock is locked. The workpiece is confirmed tight in the chuck. I have set my depth on the digital readout and when I reach zero that's where I will be at my root depth for the thread. I have come down here to the, uh, I've set the, the, the headstock in the lowest possible speed setting and the highest power setting to be able to take the cut and I have confirmed that a four thread per millimeter engagement is going to require gear A on the chart here which is inside the back of the machine to be a 30 pitch gear. Gear B is to be a 60 pitch gear. I have confirmed those. And then I am setting the levers on the quick change box in A, D, A, D here, one tango. I've also confirmed that the, the central gears inside the back of the, of the headstock are a 120 tooth on the outside, which engages gear B, and a 127 on the back side, closest to the chuck, that engages gear A. I've locked all of those gears down. I've made sure there are um, keys in the keyway slots, and we are ready to start threading. Use even numbers, uh, two and four four for the, uh, uh, for the engagement. So I'm going to bring my tool up close to the workpiece, bring my coolant over, touch off the workpiece and come back off. Okay, I'm going to start the lathe. Okay, confirm that the center is rotating. Just a slight drip of coolant. I don't want a lot because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to wait for two or four to come by. So that's coming up real close. Here we go. Engaged. Okay, I'm just taking a little slight cut to make sure that I've got what I want. And I have come out. Okay, I'm going to set my dial at zero here, just so I can back off real quickly. Zero, and I'm out. Okay, I'm going to go get my thread gauge. I'm going to make sure that I'm cutting what is equivalent to a six pitch. Okay, there's a six pitch right there. It should be just about right there. Yep, right on it. Look at that. Okay, we are cutting the correct thread. Okay, here we go. I'm going to actually start to really make a dent in the, in the thread cutting. We're going to come in. Pretty big cut. It's gonna make some noise. 
Okay, we're going to start the lathe. We're going to wait to come up to two. Engage. There. Okay, back out to 80. another uh, 60 thousandths. I'm going to go all the way down to 50. On the now, this gauge right here is the half nuts gauge. These are the half nuts. They clamp a series of nuts that are about two inches long onto the lead screw to drive the carriage at the same relative rate that the lead screw is turning relative to the check RPMs, which gives you your thread lead. This is not to be used for machining other than threading because it is far too coarse. It is specifically for cutting threads. When you engage this, you have to be right on that line or the, th the thread pitch will be off and you'll ruin the, the workpiece. So it's very difficult to, uh, to do this. And as you can see, we're we're making good progress here. Okay, here we go. Watch this. There's two right there. And we're in. Now, I am manually stopping it when I get to my back thread there. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I am going to come out off of here. 140. Let's see if yes, okay. And then go back into 140, which puts me right back where I was. Okay. Now I'm going to go another. Now, and then, by the way, this that zero setting that I came to is an arbitrary setting. It is simply a measured root depth of the thread that I measured with. Um, uh, with Werner Calvert, you can calculate it, but since I have a part to fit it to, and that's what's really important, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment my way down to it so I get a nice tight fit. I'm going to be very careful. Now I'm going to make several cuts when I get to the end at exactly the same setting uh, when I get to, to zero, and then I'll keep updating zero, and I'll keep going to zero because there is a certain amount of spring in the tool because we're taking such a deep cut. So you have to take several passes over it to make sure that you get the thread consistent depth all the way down. Okay, here we go. binding when it gets on there so the, the crown depth is still it's still hitting the crown so we need to go a few more cuts Okay, let's take it another 
thousands. 